Hello everybody, Tusk01 here. Welcome back to Light 3. We expose the terrible, evil maid poisoning the young master, or old master, or just the master of this place. Because he was late on payments, and she was too happy about it. But now we can uh, take care of this eye. Gross eye. Just a little bit. All the other lies have been adorable little monsters, but this has just been gross. But it's gonna be dead soon. No damage. Oh dang. It did. Yeah! That was quick. Uh, no. I never wanna eat a lie like that again. You didn't eat it at all. Is that gonna be okay? Yeah. I just ate until I, I couldn't possibly make any more goopy lies. I, and I don't want to eat anymore. Please? Here, I'll give you some sweets to clear the taste. Oh, oh, cream puffs. Oh, boy. Okay. So, can we get rid of these goops? Nope. Okay. Too goopy. Well, girl left. Take a quick rest. Oh, we're already level 8? Dang. So we should be able to head up this now. Huh? What? Got all mudded up again. Uh, and no way to go back again. Just have to keep moving. Ah, oh, we meet again. How are you faring, brother? You said that before. Why the hell? I don't have any siblings. I can't be your brother. Hmm, have you really forgotten? Perhaps because I am much more talkative than I was, <clears throat> than I once was. It certainly has been a long, long time. Perhaps this will jog your memory? Oh, dang. Mr. Handsome Boy! Well, Theo... Actually, no, I'll just do a regular voice now. He's not... He's not masquerading anymore! You're... Cyro. Ah, so you do remember, after all. Ah, that's right. You seem to remember your brother Enos as well. Were you accomplices from the beginning? Well, well, you can say. It has nothing to do with you either way, brother. Traitor. You don't want to talk, do you? Fine by me. You there, Dragon Girl. Are you alright? It seems to be pr proving quite effective. Almost scary how well it works, I'd say. You mean how I can't control my power? Yes, when we first met, do you recall that ringy? It was an ultrasonic wave which destabilizes your power. Though it's a human at fault for the lies spreading so much. Were you not after the Auric and Teeth then? What benefit? Is it you making her power unstable? It's true. I am the phantom thief. I, <clears throat> I do need to steal the treasure. Yet, this seems to be a fake. Couldn't you tell? Wealthy folks are so clueless in that regard. At any rate, the treasure was not the focus here. You asked me if I had a grudge against you. I know I... <clears throat> I know you. So I suppose you must already realize, Theo. Lying makes one succumb to the lies, was it? Then, why not you, Brother Theo? Are you simply lying more to make the lies unclear? Lying on top of lies? You're desperately hiding. I wouldn't be surprised to see it crumble enough soon. Don't worry, I'll help you with that. Whoa! Ooh, 
I love the sprite. I love it. Sword and power. Whoops. Uh, I think you mean dead. Okay, that that's a ringing. What? What's the gang need from the stomping of grounds of kids? Okay. Did you steal a gun? Speak up. Um, I don't know. Uh... Didn't get the wrong people, did they? Crap, they found out about the things we stole before too? What do we do? Wonder if they'll kill us. S stop it! Don't say that stuff, okay? But they're really mad. We're talking about going against the gang here. Then I'll talk with their leader. So you stay here for now. We're not gonna run. This is our turf, ain't it? There's nowhere to run. It was our mistake. We should... You don't need to come. Just wait here. Hmm. Ugh. Whoa, you are really muddled up with that goops. Sid, are you, are you being taken away by the lies? S Sid? Don't touch me. Listen, don't, don't come any closer. Oh, dang. How fragile. Well... It shouldn't be long now. Let's move this along, shall we? Well, Effie did want to eat the lie. Did want to eat Theo's lies and help him out. I guess he's gonna be the final boss here. Huh? Where's Where's Sid? I'm all I'm all alone. Was he trying to keep me from being possessed all along? I'll protect him. I promised him that. I have to go save him. Uh, I'm scared. Sid? Glob! I took no damage. Instant kill. But if he's all. if he's grown up, he'll grow up quite a. Ooh. Um, excuse you? I don't appreciate that, Slurpy Scrooge. Slurching sound. I have the legendary cookie. A lock. Paper? But it's blank. At times like this, you burn it, soak in water, turn it upside down. Uh. Ooh, what? Ow! It's all spiky. I'd get pricked if I tried to push it. Fear not the blades. Blades. Okay. Take a quick rest here. Give yourself to the shadows. Shadows? Okay, so we're gonna be climbing up and stuff, going up and down. Hmm. A one zero eight. Huh? I can see numbers on the paper on this mirror. Wait, I, I should probably write that down. Uh... Crap. I don't have anything to write on. Oh, okay, here we go. Some of this. So, 8018. So that's... Uh, shoot. So if it's a mirror of that, so it's... Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, 
All right, done. Moving on. Can you take the lock? Oh, because it was mirrored. A zero one eight. Opened. Whoa. This man of lies. That surprised me. What? What's going on here? Foresee into the dark. Foresee? I can't see anything. I can't go ahead here. So is this all... Is this all made of Theo's lies? Well, it says to not fear it. What now? Whoa! Hey! Alright! Sorry I'm late! First job have to be this one. Is, is this what they call exploiting? Uh, uh. Yay! This is a third floor, isn't it? Going up just one, f just going up just one floor is rather time-consuming. Yes, that's just because our attacks do so little to the lumps of lies. Our abilities as dragons aren't well suited to dealing with them. Huh? Captains? Ah, oh, the young lady. So you're here. I don't see your caretaker, though. He went away somewhere. And left you behind? Oh, um, not like that. Sid said I shouldn't get too uh, close to him, so he went away. I think so. Uh, so, um, don't get mad at Sid. Iris, can you tell where he is right now? Yes, sir. Wait, just a moment. At any rate, are you alright? Even as you speak, these mud-like lies only continue to multiply. It must mean that you are continually using your power. I'm just kind of dizzy. Is that bad? Dragons may be made of sturdy or something humans, but they can still die. If they're stabbed enough times, they'll die eventually. It's only our lifespans that are roughly double, supposedly, that isn't quite definite either. But uh, most importantly, you can die whenever you expend too much of your power. Ooh. Since you're still young, your capabilities are limited. Many child dragons end up losing their lives by running rampant and using too much power. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here's... He's in the passage, a floor above. But also, I sense the presence of some others up there too. Well, maybe it's a thief. She said, uh, she made me lose... <clears throat> she said she made me lose control with ultrasonic waves. Ultrasonic waves? Hmm. If it's a thief to blame, it's possible you can be brought back to normal. At any rate, our priority is to meet with this person. But at any rate, it's... <sighs> but this area is dangerous. It has more masses of lies moving around unpredictably. How'd you get up here? For some time, uh, the mud was too unstable to get through, but the mud suddenly stopped moving, so Vice Captain Brett used his power to pass through. Well, there was this lie in the shape of a lock. And <clears throat> as soon as I opened it, Miss Iris showed up. I see. Perhaps if we break more of these lilacs, the mud in this area will also come to a halt. If there is anything we can do, we shall assist you. I think it would be best to leave at, at least two here. So pick one of us to go with you. If you want to change your companies, you... <clears throat> if you want to change who accompanies you, we'll switch places. We'll be keeping watch on things up above. Oh, neat! Hey! Okay. 
Ooh. Ooh. Who do we get? Um. Uh, hmm. You can get us through things. So, I, I, we'll have to, I, we're gonna have to change partners either way, I think, on this one. And so for the blades, we'll take this guy here, because he can go through stuff. Yep, let's go together. Me, huh? Okay. Got it. Let's go. Bread and butter. <laughs> Whoa! Level 58? Or 53? I don't know. It said that touching this shadow takes you to some other worldly space. Black ribbon. Uniform. Wait, so if we change. So we get other achievements? Yeah. Me and Neely McGee. What? I like bread and butter better. I like that achievement better. I already sucked your coffee? What? Okay. Whatever works. I don't think I need the rest, but yeah. Whatever. Anyway, I'm out of time for this episode, so thank you everybody for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye-bye!